Hey guys, my name is KSK. Welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how to set up and install the Kali Linux 2020, the latest edition from Kali on any PC or laptop using VirtualBox. A VirtualBox is a tool that uses a virtualization technology that lets you run an operating system inside another operating system, meaning you don't need any separate drives or do a boot method to install Kali Linux. Now, I will be using a Windows PC as my host operating system and install Kali Linux within Windows OS as a part of virtual machine. This method is one of the simplest and easiest way of up and running with Kali Linux on your PC or laptop. As I told, VirtualBox lets you run more than one operating system inside your PC or laptop and most of the IT companies rely on this method which is the easiest way of testing the OS without worrying about hardware. Now the only prerequisite for this video, you need any desktop PC or laptop running either Windows, Mac OS or Linux because the VirtualBox is an application software that supports cross-platform. Now before getting into the installation step, make sure your processor meets the following criteria. It must be a 64-bit processor and supports a virtualization technology. Now to check if your computer supports hardware virtualization, open the command prompt, then type system information. Now if you scroll all the way to the end, under the hyper requirements, make sure virtualization is set to yes. This tells that your computer may support either Intel VT-D or AMD-V technologies that confirms yes your PC can handle virtual machines and support hardware virtualization. Now by default this feature is turned on, if it is not then enable it from BIOS. Now that being said, let's head over to the installation part. Alright now go ahead and open your favorite web browser and then go to the official website Kali.org and then click on the downloads option from here. Now scroll all the way until you find the images for the VirtualBox. Now in this case, I will be using a 64-bit edition VirtualBox image because my computer processor is capable of running the 64-bit virtual machines. So if in case your computer don't have a support for hardware virtualization, I recommend going with a 32-bit is a good way. So for the sake of this video, I will be using a 64-bit I call the Linux VirtualBox image. So just gonna go ahead, click on the a download button here. Now once you click on the download button, again you have to uh, scroll down a little bit until you find a Kali Linux VirtualBox images section. Now here you can download the torrent file. So it's a part of a torrent, so which means you need to download a BitTorrent client to download this file. So as you can see, I have downloaded this file already before recording this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the BitTorrent client here. You can see I have done downloading this file. So when I open this file, so this is a very big file. So it's around three gigs in size. And the file extension of this file is .ova, so which stands for open virtualization archive so this is a very big file just gonna go ahead and save it somewhere on your computer now again go back to the web browser here you can type virtual box just gonna go ahead and search on Google then click on the first link now when you click on the first link it's gonna take the official Oracle virtual box website so by the time of recording this video virtual box 6.1 is the latest version just gonna go ahead and tap on that the big download button then it lets you download for different OS. For example, you can download for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, or Solaris. So in my case, I will be using a Windows PC. Just gonna go tap on the Windows computer, so it's gonna download the files. So once it's done downloading all the files, just gonna go ahead and place it somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the VirtualBox by right-clicking it and open it. Now just gonna go ahead and click on and agree all the license and terms and conditions. All right, now you can see the VirtualBox has done installing on my computer. Just gonna go ahead, open the VirtualBox. Now this is the user interface of the VirtualBox. Now it's time to import the uh, appliance, which is the download image file. You can either click on file and then click on import appliance, or you can use this button called import. Just gonna go ahead, tap on that. Now once you click on that, you can see a dialog box has popped out here. Now just gonna go ahead and click on this folder icon, then navigate uh, for the image file, which we have just downloaded it. Just gonna go ahead, select this OVA image file file then click on open it now then click on next here and then you can see the uh, default uh, settings for this virtual machine will be automatically located by this now here I'm going to change the uh, name of the virtual machine to Kali Linux 2020 edition so you can name it wherever you want 
and then under the uh, CPU section as you can see uh, it's set to two cores by default and you can set more than two cores but it's a default one so if you want to check your computer processor has how many cores just gonna go to the task manager and then you can go to the a uh, performance tab here and then click on CPU and here you can see the number of cores available in your processor so I'm gonna set to two cores as it is and then RAM is set to two gigs you can use the higher gigs if you have the more amount of RAM on your computer then here one thing you have to make sure is you can disable this thing it's called USB controller so some users may gonna have a problems with this USB controller so if you having that kind of problem just gonna go ahead and disable this and then click on import so now the virtual machine will gonna load it on your uh, Windows computer it's gonna take a little bit of time so don't interrupt anything on your computer so once it's done I will be right back with you guys Now as you can see it's done successfully importing the appliance as you can see the virtual machine has been added inside the virtual box manager so on the left you can see the virtual machine on the right you can see the settings of that virtual machine so now just gonna go ahead and click on start button to run the Kali Linux for the first time now one thing you have to note here so this is a virtual machine which is a guest OS and the Windows is a host OS now whenever you click inside the virtual machine the mouse input will be taken by the virtual machine so if you want to control your Windows computer or Windows OS you have to use a host key so which is a right control key on your keyboard to release the cursor inside the virtual machine in order to operate the Windows OS so this is how it works you can see the full screen is also working it's amazing everything is pre-installed you don't have to do anything thing and you don't have to walk through with any kind of complexity so now you're gonna go ahead type the password and username as Kali Kali so the latest 2020 edition has a non default root user so just type Kali Kali the username is Kali and the password is Kali and as you can see we have successfully logged in into the Kali Linux so this is how you can install the Kali Linux 2020 uh, using a virtual box on any computer so it might be Windows it might be Mac OS it might be any Linux distribution now I'm gonna go ahead and open the terminal here for the first time now first First thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the a password for the username called Kali. Simply type this command and then you're going to go ahead press the return key then type the default password which is a Kali K-A-L-I all in lowercase. Then it's going to ask you to set a new password just going to go ahead do it. Now as you can see now we have successfully changed the a password for the a root user. Now just going to go ahead and run this command to update all of the repositories. As you can see, the new Kali Linux 2020 edition looks super amazing. Aesthetically wise, the new iconography, graphical user interface has been updated. It's super fast and you can see there are a lot of new wallpapers available. It's simply amazing guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a more tutorials on Kali Linux topics. So I'm really glad to make this kind of a videos on this channel for sure. Now one thing if you notice here, so the virtual machine is actually running in the full screen mode. So if you want to jump, you can use this toolbar section and jump back to the normal screen mode this is how it looks and if you want to go back to the full screen mode you can use a keyboard shortcut right control key plus F that's gonna be a run the virtual machine in full screen mode so that's pretty much it guys this is very very easy to install the Kali Linux 2020 edition on Windows PC using the virtual box so I'm gonna go ahead and shut down this uh, virtual machine now if you want to delete the virtual machine so you can go to the open the virtual box manager here and then you can see the virtual machine here on the left just gonna go ahead, right click on that and click on on delete and then choose delete all files so this is not going to do anything on your Windows computer it's going to simply going to delete the a watch machine which is a Kali Linux so that's pretty much it I hope you like this video if you do hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified so this has been KSKRIO peace